नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन द बिगेस्ट हाईलाइट्स ऑफ द पास्ट वन वीक वेर दैट द साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून कवर्ड द एंटायर कंट्री ऑन सेकेंड ऑफ जुलाई अगेंस्ट द नॉर्मल डेट ऑफ एट्थ ऑफ जुलाई दैट इज सिक्स डेज अहेड ऑफ द नॉर्मल डेट ऑफ मॉनसून कवरेज फॉर एंटायर इंडिया and the second uh, uh, salient feature was that uh, uh, there there uh, a, a low pressure area developed over uh, over northern parts of odisha on 4th of uh, 4th of july and it uh, moved west north westwards across central india and emerged as a as a uh, low pressure area over over kutch and neighborhood on 6th of july so under the influence of this uh, low pressure area and its uh, its uh, west north westward movement uh, extremely heavy rainfall occurred over uh, over konkan and goa madhya maharashtra and uh, coastal karnataka uh, on on uh, on 5th 6th and 7th of july uh, that is uh, the 24 hourly accumulated rainfall at the at 8:30 hours uh, 8:30 hours ist uh, of of the day so on 5th of july 8:30 hours ist uh, of 5th of july the rainfall observed uh, during 8:30 hours ist of 4th to uh, 8:30 hours ist of 5th uh, over konkan and goa was 34 uh, cm over lanja and 25 over tala uh, 23 over vaibhavwadi uh, mangao 23 Mal- malwan 23 Uh, sanguem 22 sangameshwar uh, De- devrukh 21 uh, mandangad 21 vengurla that is uh, 20 and madhya maharashtra gagan bawla uh, reported 26 cm rainfall and coastal karnataka reported 26 cm over castle rock on 6th of july uh, west mp harda reported 22 cm and timarni reported 20 cm Uh, konkan and goa reported uh, 22 cm over the poliagiri and uh, khalapur uh, 20 and vasai also 20 and madhya maharashtra mahabaleshwar 21 and castle rock and mulki uh, 25 and 20 respect, uh, respectively over coastal karnataka and on 7th of july uh, that is today uh, 8:30 hours ist of today uh, accumulated rainfall 24 hourly accumulated rainfall over koena 24 cm over kullur of udupi uh, 21 cm over coastal karnataka and uh, and uh, dhamrand of uh, ratnagiri 22 cm and uh, roha of uh, raigad 20 cm uh, as this can be seen uh, in this uh, map for this uh, the duration uh, during 30th june to 6th of july the entire these uh, red dots along the west coast and over uh, uh, some parts of vidarbha and odisha and east rajasthan and over the himachal pradesh and northern parts of haryana uh, and and uttarakhand they they are indicating uh, the rainfall greater than uh, 10 cm rainfall and the the monsoon uh, uh, onset uh, over over monsoon advance over haryana and punjab occurred on on uh, first and uh, 2nd of july and uh, this rainfall the red color rainfall over uh, parts of haryana and uh, uttarakhand in himachal pradesh is in order is in correspondence with that only so uh, overall if we see weekly rainfall observed then uh, during the this week 30th june to 6th of july the entire country reported a 28% positive depart- departure from the normal rainfall normal rainfall uh, uh, is 55.6 mm whereas whereas the country has reported 70.9 mm rainfall so that is a positive departure of 28% in which in which the northwest india central india and south peninsular india has contributed uh, uh, has contributed largely east and northeast india is in fact uh, a ne- negative departure that is minus 36% and this northwest india central india and south peninsular india is uh, th- this uh, positive uh, largely positive departure is only due to this uh, active monsoon conditions over the country and the monsoon coverage by 2nd of july and then uh, uh, subsequent uh, formation of a low pressure area over uh, 
north hood is on 4th of july and then it's a uh, west northwestward movement across uh, central parts of the country and strong uh, lower level westerly winds uh, hitting uh, along the west coast of the country and if you look into the seasonal rainfall from the 1st of june to 6th of july then uh, then uh, the entire country uh, is uh, is uh, close to normal rainfall to 13 mm rainfall uh, which is uh, which is uh, very close to the uh, normal rainfall of 213.3 mm so departure is 0% uh, rainfall although this uh, departure was negative in the month of june but this uh, the in this uh, uh, first week of uh, the month of july has covered very well and so that uh, overall departure of this monsoon season from 1st june, june to 6th of july has uh, uh, has come come uh, has equated with the, the normal rainfall uh, across the country so now if you look into the probability of cyclogenesis uh, during next two weeks so there is a uh, possibility of formation of a formation of a low pressure area by 12th or 13th of uh, july and and there is also uh, probability uh, although low probability of its further intensification into a depression uh, and and then it's uh, uh, it, it it is very likely to move west north westwards across central parts of the country and then is very likely to emerge into northeast arabian sea uh, by the middle of uh, the second week that is uh, 15th to 21st of july so in in association with this uh, this uh, formation of uh, velmag low pressure area and its uh, low probability of uh, uh, its further intensification into a depression there is a possibility of isolated extremely heavy rainfall uh, over uh, northern parts of coastal andhra pradesh south chatisgarh odisha and and vidarbha uh, during during 12th uh, to uh, 12th to 13th of july so uh, as as we have discussed we we have been discussing every day in the in the in the uh, our daily weather daily weather video so this extra monsoon is likely to remain active during uh, during next two weeks and uh, if we look into next five days warning then uh, the isolated extremely heavy falls along the west coast uh especially along the uh, konkan and goa and uh, ghat areas of madhya maharashtra are likely to continue during next five days and uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall is also likely to continue over chatisgarh over uh, vidarbha and uh, telangana and uh, gujarat uh, during next uh, four five days and also the the rainfall activity is very likely to increase over uh, plains of northwest india from tomorrow that is 8th of july Uh, when uh, isolated heavy rainfall is likely over uh, punjab haryana uh, and and rajasthan and west up uh, during 8 8th 9th and 10th of july and also over the over the western himalayan region over uh, uh, himachal pradesh and uttarakhand there is probability of uh, isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall uh, on 8th 9th uh, 8th and 9th of july and isolated heavy rainfall uh, on on 10th of july and if we come over to uh, the rainfall forecast for week 2 then as we can see in this map that uh, the uh, overall rainfall activity is likely to be above normal over over central parts of the country and uh, northern peninsular uh, india that is uh, uh, that is odisha odisha uh, chatisgarh madhya pradesh uh, southern parts of rajasthan gujarat uh, konkan and goa coastal karnataka and and uh, uh, madhya maharashtra and uh, and marathwada as well so over over this belt the the central belt and no north uh, peninsular belt the rainfall activity is very likely to remain uh, above normal uh, during the week of 15th to 21st of july and it is likely to be uh, below normal over southern peninsular india that is uh, southern parts of karnataka Uh, uh, southern parts of coastal andhra pradesh and ral sima and kerala and tamil nadu and lakshadweep as well and uh, and uh, also the activity rainfall activity is likely to be uh, below normal over uh, northeast india and and uh, uh, parts of east india that is bihar bihar and uh, northern parts of bengal that is sub himalayan west bengal and sikkim and uh, northern parts of jharkhand 
and it is likely to be normal to above normal over uh, normal over uh, western himalayan region and uh, west rajasthan and uh, it is likely to be normal to above normal over uttar pradesh punjab haryana chandigarh and delhi so that's all for uh, today in today's uh, weekly weather discussion next week we will again meet with weekly weather discussion uh, with forecast for next two weeks thank you and goodbye